Hello and welcome to the video. Today, we are going to be covering the best EO build. What you can expect from this video is the best EO build, obviously, a small PvP tutorial using the build, some survival tips to help you reach a point in life where you can equip the build, and much more. I really hope you enjoy, and if you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. So if you want to use my EO build, you need to make an EO. And we're going to be using the plus 3% attack damage subspecies. Once you spawn in, you'll notice you're fat, slow, and you have an obnoxious baby skin that does not help you blend in. You also take pretty heavy full damage. I don't know what advice to give you. Go and find somewhere good to grow and hide, because... It's going to be hard. Once you hit Adolescent, you will have unlocked most of your abilities, so now it's time for the build. Equip Sharp and Horns. It's literally just a buff ability that makes you do more damage for 60 seconds. Next, we're going to be going with Lone Survivor if you're solo, and then the other one if you're in a group. Lone Survivor is really nice when you're solo, though. Now, we're going to be running Balanced for the improved turning speed, because Stomp is absolutely garbage. You might be thinking, ooh... I'm going to stomp on a raptor, you're not. Unless the raptor is terrible, you're just not going to land a big old stomp on him. It's so slow, it's so easy to bait, it's just not happening. Equip resilient scales, I mean it's the only option there, but I feel like I should say it anyway. Charge is really nice, it does 120 damage. It's just amazing to open up a fight with, it's amazing to run away with. It's, it's just a great ability. And here is the final build. Feel free to screenshot this and send it to anyone who may need an EO build. Okay, let's talk about some camouflage. First, we've got jungle. It's just green and black. It blends in really nicely in birch woods, grand plains, um, white cliffs, anywhere green. Here is jungle, but we mix in some browns. Now it's a more woodland skin, so for areas like dark woods, young grove, whistling columns, and here is capped. It's a desert skin, and I know you can see the EO here, but just look at how nicely those colors blend in. Like at a glance, maybe a dinosaur doesn't see you or something like that. Now it's time for a PvP tutorial, but I just want to quickly say... You don't need to leave a comment asking if I'm suddenly depressed. I just had about three hours of sleep last night, that's all. What we're doing is we're sharpening our horns and then we're just gonna charge in and do a ridiculous amount of damage. Here we go, easiest thing to land I've ever seen and we can just tail ride very easily. Staying behind with our turning radius abilities. Doing a bit of face tanking, which is perfectly fine because we're in EO and this guy is dead in seconds. A third party comes in and we kill him just for a, just for a laugh. I mean, that, that was about a 20 second tutorial. <laughs> and for things to avoid, pretty much nothing. Playing EO is like playing a god. I mean, I wouldn't recommend this, but you get the point. And for carnivore counters, I've got OG Rex, Layton, and a very, very skilled Aleo player. And for herbivore counters, we have Edmonto and Ampilo. But honestly, those two herbivores aren't really even in the same tier as EO, so I'm kind of reaching. I'm not sad. I am just tired. Do not worry about me. I'm just editing way too much because I'm making videos for next week so I can have them ready to upload because my girlfriend is staying with me next week and I don't want to do editing. That's all. Goodbye. <laughs> 